We are now down to the nitty gritty. We are getting through this month. So this is the next to last film. And this is the one I was more excited to check out because this is actually a film that I hear good things. I actually uh, had, a, had a friend many years ago who had seen this film. He told me it's fantastic. And I had this for a while. I think a couple years ago from... Yeah, a couple years ago from... I want to say it was Ollie's when they still had DVDs. But that movie is an espionage film. This was uh, released in 2007. And it stars Chris Cooper, Ryan Philippe, and Laura Linney in Breach. Yes, Breach. I've watched this off of a double, film, double feature film set, which also includes The Chamber as well. And... The chamber was decent, but I will save that maybe for next year. But anyways, let's talk about Breach. Breach, I'm going to put that on my lap right now. Breach is an espionage film, the story of a man by the name of Eric O'Neill, Ryan Philippe. Some people say it's Philippe, but I actually say it's Philippe. I'm just going to say Philippe. Who is tracking down this, 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 this other FBI agent, uh, Robert Hensey. Uh, Hensley, I think it's Hen Hensei, Hesse, uh, tomato, tomato, I think it is. If you don't know the whole story of it, I'm not really going to give away much, but if you know the whole story, this this man right here, it, it tackles about, Chris, Chris Cooper plays Hensi, and he has connections with the Soviet Union. So he works with him, he gets the job of the FBI, uh, he's like the head of the FBI who basically gives him the job. And Laura Linney, uh, who, Laura Linney is just fantastic um, in this. And also has Dennis Haysburg, uh, Pedro Serrano from the Major League movies, if you're curious. Uh, I'm trying to see who Linney plays as. Mm, I'm not really sure. She plays like the secondary person at the, the uh, FBI. Is it CIA or FBI? I want to say it's FBI. I'm not really sure. But it is really, really well made. It's, it's chilling certain scenes. There is one F word in it. There's an F bomb in the film. So even though it's a PG-13 film, there is an F bomb in the film. Uh, so be forewarned if you do decide to let a 13 year old watch this. So, his, so Philippe's job is to crack this mystery. So he hangs out with his girlfriend and they're trying to figure out who um trying to figure out and basically the craziness ensues. And the movie takes place I think around ninety nine, two thousand. I know it eventually goes in two thousand one, but I wanna say it's roughly around ninety nine, two thousand is where this film takes place. I think. So yeah. Um, it has a really good, it has some really good, uh, really good set pieces. You actually get to see his character. It almost reminded me a little bit of Argo. Not so much compared to Argo, but what would have made the movie stronger is if it had a hard R rating. If it was an R rated film, this movie would work much better. Again, similar to how Argo is. This movie is much similar to, again, the way that Argo did. I'm, I'm kind of comparing it to Argo, but it's not really Argo. Argo was a whole different movie. That was about a man trying to get, if you know the story. We're not talking about Argo, but I'm just going to sum up quick. Argo was a story about a man trying to make a film to get those, to get those people out of Iran. It was during the Iran hostage crisis. This movie was basically about a man trying to get another guy and crack the case before this whole world. It just shows you the craziness. And let's just say karma comes back at the very end. So, is there any parts I don't like about the film? I will say certain scene it can, I will say it can drag a little bit. Uh, there were certain stuff I kind of lost interest. As you can see right here in the picture right there, there's some with the suitcase. But yeah, pretty much. Um, it can drag a little longer. 
Uh, this is this clock's in an hour and fifty one, so it's really not that long of a movie. Like I said, it's an hour and fifty one minutes, so it's definitely worth worth watching. So I guess it means the final final verdict. Should you watch Breach? If you like these actors, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, it was later released. It was released to Blu-ray, and then Mill Creek re-released it onto Blu-ray. So it has been re-released by Mill Creek. So if you get your hands on this double feature, I'd say go for that. Or if you want to own it on Blu-ray, there are two options. You can get the hard-to-find Universal Blu-ray or the recent Mill Creek release. So you have your choices. Mill Creek, like I said, is really good. I, I, I really do enjoy Mill Creek stuff. I don't have any Mill Creek Universal Blu-rays, but it's definitely, like I said, worth checking out if you really like these actors. Laura Linney is fantastic. She, she's sort of she's sort of ignorant, and I'd probably put this as second best performance. Probably her best performance is Squid and the Whale. That is her best performance, and that I can easily recommend. But in terms of breach, she did pretty good. She did a really good job in it. The cast entirely did a good job. I forgot to mention that not only did it had Dennis Dennis uh, Haysburg, but it also had uh, Carolyn Davenos. They also had Gary Cole, who I didn't recognize, and Kathleen Quinlan plays Kathleen Quinlan plays his wife. So probably just Robert Hempsey's wife in it. And even Peter Travers said that that, that uh, Breach is electrifying, according to Peter Travers, and suspenseful from Ty Bros from Boston Globe. There is some special features on here. I don't know if the Mill Creek, I don't think the Mill Creek has special features. But anyways, you get 18 minutes of deleted, deleted and alternative scenes. Anatomy of a character, which is brought to you by Volkswagen, which is weird, but it's actually another interview. The Mall, which is, I just watched The Mall, and that's the documentary that's based on this. It was released on Dateline, and I was released 3501, the day the man got arrested. But I, I kind of gave that away. So, um, you probably already know the story. I kind of gave that away The if you read the whole thing. And there's a commentary with Billy Ray, who directed this, and with the, with the former FBI operative, Eric O'Neill. And Eric O'Neill, I guess, was a consultant on this film. Uh, he had part in the making of this. So, uh, Ron Pilpe was really good. He actually looked a lot for the role, and he was really good in that role. So, yeah, Breach is definitely something to uh, check out. Yeah, so, check it out. If this is what I said, you might, you might, you might like it, you might not. Check it out. That's all I'm going to say. So, that's it. Come back for the final review. I picked a good one for the final review, so you don't want to miss it. After that, we are jumping into Universal Month after that. So, I'll see you then. <laughs>